left on this processing batch, okay? But that's when we'll have this molten pool here. But we'll be running batches later today, so if you can your film now, you can come back later today and you can get that. So, um, you're gonna hear more about all these individual systems. I'm just gonna talk about the reactor right now. Once the tepra, or the local soil, is delivered up here, we open up two gate valves, and this auger translates inside. We rotate the auger, we move the soil inside our hopper while protecting the seals on the gate valve. When this is full, the auger moves backwards, we close those gate seals. Now we have enough soil in here to do 24 hours of operation. From here, some of that soil gets moved down to the base of the reactor. Inside, the bottom of this is filled with an even layer. We have a quartz rod where we're taking the concentrated solar energy from the array up here, and it's shining down on the soil. Now you can imagine, you've got, it's a much like when you have a magnifying glass when you're a kid, and you can light a piece of paper with it just by concentrating the solar energy. We're just doing that on a much larger scale. That energy is hot. It, there's enough energy to, 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 to melt the, local, the soil here and create a molten puddle. So you've got this puddle of lava surrounded by unmelted soil. And this is actually a video image. We have a video camera looking down into the chamber. This is the surface. You can see several things here on the surface. There's bubbling going on. That's part of the process. And the little round things are metallic iron beads that are being produced. So what's going on? We're not just heating the soil. The trick is you need to do that in a methane gas environment. The methane is carbon and hydrogen. When the methane hits a hot enough surface, it cracks back into carbon and hydrogen gas. The carbon goes in and actually can strip away the oxygen that's attached to the minerals in the soil. It forms a gas, carbon monoxide, and that's what you see bubbling out of the melt here. From there, we take the carbon monoxide and the hydrogen left over from the cracking of the methane, gets pumped through a catalyst bed here. We reform methane gas, which gets recycled up in the first step. And we also get water vapor. We condense the water vapor here and collect it in a reservoir. When we collect enough liquid water, we periodically transfer it over to that electrolysis unit. The electrolysis unit splits the water into hydrogen and oxygen. Oxygen is our product out of the system. And the hydrogen gets used back here in this step, in the methanation reactor step. So it's really a closed loop system. The only thing we put in is dirt and energy, and we get oxygen out. And then from there, the oxygen can, get, can be stored and liquefied and used for a, a rocket engine firing, which you'll hear about in a moment. Or breathing. Or breathing, or a lot, or a lot lots of things. Lots of things. Not anything you can use on. So in a nutshell, that's what we have going on.